What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be jumping into how to film and edit videos for IGTV, aka Instagram TV, the brand new video streaming video sharing platform that is just released over on Instagram. You can go up to the top right of your Instagram feed and actually click this new IGTV, aka Instagram TV button there and then be greeted with whoever is currently creating content that you're following over on IGTV, aka Instagram TV. And uh, you know, obviously this is a hot new topic. A lot of people want to jump on this platform. It's a brand new platform. They're going to be kind of trying to compete with YouTube in the sense of their just trying to, uh, you know, create a video streaming, video sharing place where you can actually also monetize your content. I haven't fully looked into it, uh, into this yet, but that is one of the big features that they're kind of dropping with. And that's why obviously they're getting a lot of comparisons to YouTube in the fact that, you know, both these places are video sharing, video streaming sites where you can monetize content and, uh, you know, create longer form content, not just the one minute that regular old Instagram is going to give you to uh, create a video and upload that. But without further ado, I'm going to show you one extremely crucial, very good uh, kind of tip for shooting your videos and uh, a very crucial method of how you should actually do this to be able to frame it to fit into the vertical uh, platform that they give you over there on IGTV, aka Instagram TV. And uh, then I'm going to actually show you how you guys can uh, go about editing this in Adobe Premiere Pro very quickly and then exporting it with all the best settings to actually uh, then go onto the IGTV website and upload that to your channel. By all means, let's jump into the video. Now, quickly, the shooting method, uh, aka filming method that I would go about is if you're trying to actually frame everything to fit in to your picture, for example, right now is what the uh, vertical would look like if we were just trying to change this video that I'm filming right now into that vertical mode. And it's not ideal, obviously. Um, I have, I'm not editing this yet, so I'm not too sure exactly what it looks like, but I'd imagine when we're in vertical, the shoulders are cut off or, or obviously it's not fitting everything perfectly into the screen. And that is why you want to actually take your camera and uh, go ahead and rotate it to be filming vertically. And honestly, I'm pretty confident that pretty much every tripod in the universe is going to allow you to do this. Even my very shitty uh, <laughs> pencil tripod that I simply use for my YouTube videos like this because it doesn't have to be very sturdy or anything. Uh, even this very small pencil tripod can do the kind of rotating thing where you're, uh, the, 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 the top of your tripod can rotate to actually be filming vertical, hence fitting in everything much nicer. And uh, essentially, this is the way that you would go about actually framing everything in order to actually fit it all in so that you can uh, you know, upload, for example, a standard YouTube video like this and format it to be uploaded over there to Instagram TV, aka IGTV. Now, once you guys have actually done that and filmed your clips um, and actually collected this uh, vertical shot, then what I want you guys to do is go ahead and obviously jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm going to jump over there right now. We're going to quickly load up our footage that we filmed and I'm going to show you the process uh, that goes behind editing this, then exporting it, and then finally uploading it to IGTV, Instagram TV, and uh, overall, you know, everything that comes after this basic filming tip that I've quickly given you right there. Without further ado, let's jump over to my computer. All right, boom. So once you guys have actually recorded your footage, obviously in vertical mode, and then opened up Premiere Pro, all you guys want to do is obviously import your clips. So I'm going to go down here, actually grab my vertical clip, go ahead and just throw that into Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm actually going to drag that down here to the obviously create new sequence button. And uh, what is what, what that's actually going to do is create it like this. So kind of technically, uh, obviously, it is not perfect right now. It is not uh, in the correct kind of um, rotation that we would be able to actually upload this to Instagram. Um, obviously, this is, uh, you know, 1920 by 1080 uh, when we need to actually change it to 1080 by 1920. And the, the, the simple way we would actually go about doing that, guys, is go up here to sequence, then go to sequence settings and simply um, change this right here after we actually go ahead and change this to a custom. So we want to actually go up here to edit mode, go ahead and change this to custom, go ahead and just switch these 1920 by 1080 and go ahead and put it 1080 by 1920 and press enter. And uh, obviously this is going to say, say changes to preview file format or to the preview file size uh, required all preview files to be deleted. This operation cannot be undone, whatever, just press OK. And simply this is going to change the dimensions here. Then we want to simply select this file, go to effect controls, and then actually just go ahead and hit the rotation to actually rotate this all around to, um, what is it going to be? 280. So minus 280. Um, oh, no, it's not. Um, 
Hold on, let me just bring this around. Okay, it's minus 270. Minus 270, boom, there we go. And that right there is how you're actually gonna go ahead and line up your shot perfectly. Obviously, right now, this is fitting me perfectly in the screen by doing this vertical mode right here. Everything looks great, it's still amazing quality. I don't have to record with my phone, for example, to actually set up the shot for IGTV. I can record with my, with my camera to make it actually good quality. And um, that's essentially the process right there. Now, what the process would look like to actually be kind of converting a, non, a video that you didn't film like this to actually be fitting on screen would be to, for example, let me just go ahead and grab uh, an old club video of mine. I do a lot of live event videography, um, so I can grab a, 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 an old club video, for example. Uh, for example, I, I grab, I grab, uh, do, 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 I grab, oh, <laughs> I'm opening a bunch of stuff up. I'll just grab this one right here. Doesn't really matter, I just wanna grab a nice one. Um, and uh, if I actually bring this in, obviously, oh, damn, I need to mute that. Um, obviously, it's not filling the screen, so what you could do for a video that is 1920 is, uh, either um, kind of uh, duplicate this right here and actually just stretch it out underneath and maybe blur it, um, or you could just uh, bring this top guy up here and just actually increase the, the, the resolution all the way here and actually just go ahead and cut out set clips and, um, and, and just try and, uh, and kind of adjust them so that they're fitting onto this right here. It's a little bit weird if you don't record in uh, this vertical kind of mode, which I would highly suggest everybody does because you're gonna be able to frame everything so much nicer. Uh, but the basic export process is simply just to, you know, add your in and out point, actually go up here to file, export, media, or control M, which you can do as well, which is the shortcut. Simply go here, um, your width is gonna be 1080 by 1920, everything's all good. Maximum render quality, use previews, render at maximum depth. You wanna be, be getting the nicest quality out of this. And, <laughs> I'm such a troll, man. Literally, I I I'm, I was just waving at the camera and shit, just laughing, making myself laugh. Um, <laughs> but um, boom, that is essentially it. I could actually uh, save this to my record drive, save it as um, sample. Um, oh, there's a lot of samples. Uh, sample random. I saved myself. It's such stupid stuff. Go ahead and click export, and that right there is the process of actually, uh, you know fitting everything by filming it correctly, then editing it down like this and switching around the sequence settings. And now quickly, I'm gonna show you guys how you would go about actually uploading this to Instagram TV. Very, very simply, super, super simple to actually go about doing this. And overall, uh, as soon as this renders in 20, 30 seconds, I'm gonna show you how you go about actually, you know, uploading that to IGTV, AKA Instagram TV uh, with this, uh, you know, file that we've now filmed correctly using the method I showed you edited down correctly using the method I showed you. Sorry, table. Uh, and now we're gonna upload it using the method I'm about to show you. Hell yeah. <laughs> we got eight seconds, seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Are we done? I think we're done. Hold on, look at me, man. I'm such a goddamn troll. Um, all right, so now this is actually being completed. It is on my record drive here. All we have to do is actually open up our Google Chrome or if you guys are using Mozilla Firefox. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I really hope nobody's using Mozilla Firefox. By all means, tell me in the comments if I offended you. All you gotta do is go to Instagram, uh, instagram.com slash your page. For me, I'm just gonna go to TQ9TV, that's my production company, slash channel. Go ahead and click enter right there. And, oh, sorry, this page is unavailable. Am I, am I not logged in? I think I might not be logged in yet, boom. All right, cool, Instagram channel slash channel. Boom, and right there, let me cl click off all my comments. Thank you to all of you who left these comments right here. Um, God damn, man, go away, 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 go away. And perfect, right there. Once you do that, all you have to do is upload a video. Videos must be vertical and between 15 seconds and 60 minutes long, which I'm sure they are for you, uh, or yours is rather, and all you have to do is click upload, actually go ahead and you know find your file, uh, sample random, and then actually just go about uh, uploading this right here. Obviously, I'm not gonna upload it because that's just a random sample. That is the video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe for more video production theme videos every single week here on my channel. I'm a Jack, have a nice day, and goodbye and follow me on Instagram, the one that was just on screen. <laughs>